over a few things with you and kind of take you through every section. So especially you newer knitters, you can have a lot of confidence and you can really get the feeling that there's no right way to knit. I'm going to show you a few different techniques and I always tell people like if you're comfortable doing something one way but maybe the instructions are a little different, go ahead and do it your way unless they're really specific for a reason. So I'm going to use these four colors that I had in my stash. They're a mixture of junk yarn, Emma's yarn, and Miss Babs. And that's one of the nice things about being a knitting designer. And the reason I'm doing this is the whole opposable thumb thing. Sharon not having opposable thumbs would rather be out on patrol and having me do the knitting tutorials. Okay, so I really hope you enjoy it. I just wanna show you how to weave in your ends as you go because this shawl has an awful lot of cut edge um, yarn changes, and so I think you might like it better this way. I don't think it holds ends quite as well as weaving them in with uh, a tapestry needle, but I think for average wear it would be fine. I think I travel a lot with my knitting, typically when we're not in a pandemic, so I just like it to be extra secure. So the first thing you can do is if you have two ends, sometimes you'll just have one, but if you have two, you can work them the same. So get them out and make sure you, the end from the previous color is you've cinched it down so you like the size of the stitch. And then go ahead and knit a stitch, pick up the two yarn and put them over. Knit one, pick them up, and put them over. One more time, then I'll switch to continental. Up, and put them over. Now, if you're a continental knitter, you are going to do this with the right hand, and your working yarn will be over here. And so, I just did that. So, you are going to take them, and you want to put them in the space here. So I'm probably not the most graceful doing that there, but you can see the exactly what you do. You're gonna put it through and then knit. Through. <laughs> I don't have a very big space there. And then knit. And you can cinch them down so they're nice and smooth. See how that's a little loopy there? You just pull that and then pull that. And so that's how they look. They're just woven in. And what I actually do on the way back is I will do one more on the wrong side just to really lock it in. So I'll show you one other way that's actually very similar to if you're doing color work, how you tack your colors down and that's the fastest way. That's the way I like to do it. So let me just unravel these very quickly. That's probably the fastest way. And stick them back on here. And so some continental knitters might not like this so much because you have to throw with your right hand. So they will probably opt for the other one, which would just be just as fast. But I think for, for throwers, this is the fastest way ever. So let me just, I'm only putting this in through the back loop because the stitch is twisted. Okay. So is that one? So what you're going to do is you're going to take your two tails and hold them in your left hand. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to go through as if to knit and you're going to hold your working yarn in your right hand and just put them over your needle, but don't knit them. And then you're going to knit with the right and pull it through and off. Now you're not going to do it to the next stitch. You're going to have to knit the next stitch normally. And this one is twisted. And so put your needle in as if to knit, put the stitches over, knit with the right hand and knit. And you can do all of these for about, what well, I guess about seven or eight times. 
you can just decide. And then again, you're going to get a very similar look with the two. And on the way back, I mean, I'm going to do more stitches than this in theory, but on the way back, I would go one stitch further than where the two tails are and I would lock it in one more time. So I hope that makes your journey into the Sharon show a little more pleasant.